Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Andy and welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. And today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at a specific Mai Tai made with a specific syrup. Because, well, I had some left over and I thought, why not? Let's give it a shot, and see how it goes. Today, we're gonna be making a Black Orchid Mai Tai. So, let's do this. So last week, I showcased one of Justin Voislav's cocktails, the Black Orchid, which included a specific syrup known as Black Orchid Spices. Basically, it's a molasses syrup. It is slightly different than the molasses syrup that we see in Smuggler's Cove. That one uses granulated sugar, this used dark brown sugar. That's really about the only difference. So I said to myself, well, I wonder what this would do in other cocktails because, well, I've got a bunch left over and I don't know what to do with it. So I took inspiration from Kevin Crossman's Molasses Mai Tai, we're gonna use that as a base, use the black orchid molasses syrup as opposed to regular molasses syrup, and we'll see how it goes. Honestly, I have no idea. It'll probably be good though. So let's see what we're gonna to need to make this cocktail. First, we're gonna need some rum. Orange liqueur. Our molasses syrup. Orgia. And lime juice. The rum that I'm using is Denizen Merchant Reserve 8 Year. The orange curacao is Pierre France Dry Curacao. The molasses syrup is Black Orchid Spices from Justin Voislav. The orgia is homemade and the lime juice is fresh squeezed. So we arrange this real quick. All right, so as I mentioned, the inspiration for this cocktail came from when I was doing the Black Orchid by Justin. And if you wanna see that video, I'll leave a card up here and a link down in the description below. So I said, what happens if I use this Black Orchid Spices in a Mai Tai? Well, we can sub out the demerara syrup for this and see how it goes. So I also remember seeing a Mai Tai made by Kevin Crossman called the Molasses Mai Tai, which basically should be the almost exact same thing. Now, again, as I mentioned, the molasses syrup that Kevin uses is from Smuggler's Cove, so it is slightly different. So that's why I'm gonna call this the Black Orchid Mai Tai and not the Molasses Mai Tai, because there is a slight variation. So we'll build this, we'll sip on it. I'll talk a little bit more about where Kevin came up with the inspiration for his Molasses Mai Tai, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. First, we're gonna need one ounce of lime juice. We're gonna need quarter ounce of our black orchid spices. Now, if you don't remember the recipe for black orchid spices, it's super easy. It's one cup water, one cup dark brown sugar, two tablespoons of blackstrap molasses. I will leave a link, well, I'll leave the, I'll leave the recipe in the description below. You can also check out the video, the black orchid, which I already linked to, uh, where I talk about it a little bit more in depth. So, quarter ounce of our black orchid spices. Half an ounce of our orgia. Half an ounce of our orange liqueur. and two ounces of our Denizen Merchant Reserve. Now I am going with the Denizen um, because specifically I wanted a nice kind of middle of the road rum to use. Uh, I used this when I did the white grapefruit uh, Mai Tai, which if you wanna see there's a card here and a link down below, because again, I don't want the rum to stand out, I want other things to stand out. Now specifically in the molasses Mai Tai, Kevin uses an Appleton 8. Very, very similar where it's kind of middle of the road. I don't have any Appleton 8, I do have Appleton 12, which is a little bit richer. So I went kind of scaled down, I went with the Denizen 8. Two ounces of our Denizen 8.
All right, now I just realized that I forgot to put ice in my ice bucket, so it's in my ice machine behind me. So you're gonna have to give me a minute while I go kind of fish it out. We're gonna add ice to our big shaker. Pour our cocktail in, give it a nice little whack, and then shake for about five to eight seconds. Crack this bad boy open. All right, grab our rocks glass here. We're just gonna open pour into our rocks glass. We're gonna top with more ice, which I'm gonna go get. So you're gonna see me turning around a bunch. I'll try to edit it so it's not super boring. I'll see what I can do. There, all the ice is now magically in the cup. So for this, we're gonna go super traditional. We're gonna go with a mint sprig. Put that right in the back there. Normally we would have like a spent lime shell. I just don't happen to have any spares on me today. So we're gonna forego that. Although it would make a nice garnish either way. We're gonna grab our straw. Now I went with a Surfside Sips uh, six inch bamboo straw, specifically in the amber, because I thought it would match the color of the Mai Tai. And I am not far off. So yeah, I'm gonna stick that right next to the mint and we're gonna give this a sip. All right, so I'm not gonna give you my tasting note just yet. We're gonna talk about kind of where the inspiration, the molasses Mai Tai by Kevin Crossman came from, and then I'll tell you what I think of this black orchid Mai Tai. So Kevin Crossman posted a recipe for a molasses Mai Tai a while ago. Now in the description for it, he said, hey, I just made a new batch of molasses syrup, which is interesting because Kevin himself has gone on to say multiple times how lazy he is with mixing drinks. So typically he just buys all of his syrups, but I guess there's a uh, cocktail from Smuggler's Cove called the Pampanito, which uses molasses syrup, which Kevin really loves. So he kind of makes a batch once in a while. Uh, and he said he was recently replacing a batch he found in the back of his fridge, made a new batch of molasses syrup, and so wanted to put it into a Mai Tai. That's really the story from the molasses Mai Tai. There's not much else to it. And honestly, I can see where Kevin kind of went with this. If you have molasses syrup, it's super easy to swap out the Demerara syrup. If you use Demerara syrup in your Mai Tai, you're already including a bit of molasses. That's what Demerara is, right? It, it's less processed granular sugar. So less of the molasses has been pulled out of the sugar. So that's why it has a brown color. Turbinado, um, Demerara, they're called first spun sugars. So they've only been processed one time. So they still have a bunch of molasses in them. So when you use that, it's not far off from using molasses syrup. The difference being that the molasses syrup from Smuggler Cove uses blackstrap molasses, which is much more pungent. And then the black orchid spices uses dark brown sugar, which is basically granulated sugar that has had molasses put back into it. And then on top of that, we're using blackstrap molasses. So it is super molassesy. So what do I think about this Black Orchid Mai Tai? Well, it was my first attempt at it and it's really good. It's very subtle, it's very middle of the road. The lime juice comes through, the orgia comes through. Now I am using a toasted orgia, which I think would pair perfectly with the burnt sugar notes from the molasses. Um, the orange curacao comes through a little bit. The rums are still present, although I might think that if I were to do this next time, I would probably swap out the Denizen 8 for something a little bit darker, maybe a Karuba or a Worthy Park 109. How do I feel like the molasses showed up in this? How did the black orchid spices do? They did well, they're there. Honestly, I probably would have dialed them up to about half an ounce and then maybe dialed back the orchid to about a quarter of an ounce, just so that the molasses is front and center, not the orchid. But overall, it's a really good Mai Tai. Yeah, it's super dark, super rich. I can see this going really well with the ultimate Mai Tai blend as well, or even the ultimate Jamaican Mai Tai blend. Actually, that'd probably be the best one. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I did a video on Kevin Crossman's Ultimate Jamaican Mai Tai Blend, which I will link here and then in the description below. That blend probably would work the best in this cocktail. So if I were to redo it, I'd stick with the ounce of lime juice, I'd go with half an ounce of the black orchid spices, I'd go with a quarter ounce of the orgia, half an ounce of the orange curacao, and then two ounces of the Ultimate Jamaican Mai Tai Blend. So there you have it. The Black Orchid Mai Tai and my revised version. Although I didn't make it, but you get the idea. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Go on over, like the channel, subscribe, click that little notification bell. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, at Easy Tiki Drinks. Uh, and until next time, take it easy.